Hi, I'm Nicholas Walwork, globally published author of Investing in International Real Estate for Dummies. It's on Amazon, go check it out. Great property investment tips, development tips, all the rest of it, full of facts and strategies and how to get into property, joint ventures, finance, lease options, HMOs, basically anything of property I've covered in that book. It's a great book to get you going in property. You'll also learn some tricks and tips um, of maybe other strategies you haven't tried or thought of. So it's well worth getting a, getting a handle on it. Um, we're also doing courses actually um, very soon. So if you're interested in doing some property investing and development courses, look in the links below. It'll be coming soon. It might not be there in the next few weeks. So if you watch this video for a few weeks, uh, possibly no link, but it will appear. I will add it in and um, we'll be talking about it on future videos. So I really want to help you guys out there, those budding um, investors and developers out there that have you know maybe done a few deals, um, maybe want to change strategies, maybe want to do an office to resi conversion, bigger deals. You've done a few buy-to-lets over the years, you've built a good portfolio, um, maybe you've got a bit of capital to invest and you want some help getting going. I'm more than happy to mentor you, work with you, um, reach out in the details below. Um, what I wanted to cover today, you know, and this is kind of you know, a bit for the advanced developer uh, doing bigger schemes, um, you have to start dealing with fire stopping. Fire stopping is um, a real issue in the industry after Grenfell. Um, I'm gonna go find my film crew so we can go and get some better footage rather than me on my phone. I'm just wandering around the site, you know, banging my head on bits of wire. Um, but, us, you know, on that note, very, very safe site here. We've got um, full lighting all up at high level. We've got very clean and clear site. If you notice a good building site is one that is very clean and clear. Um, and, you know, easy and safe to work around. Now I'm here with the guys, I'm gonna fix the guys. Hi guys, got James and Will there. Um, guys, we're talking about fire stopping. Um, thanks for, getting the cameras ready. Um, if we look up here, fire stopping is where you have, um, sorry about that, you know, someone commented on the video the other day, who thought it was a good idea to film on a building site? Uh, I'm a builder, I'm a not builder, I'm a, I'm a developer. Of course, I'm gonna film on a building site, that's what I do. Um, I thought that was a really funny comment. Um, but do please comment, because I love the funny ones, but I love the constructive ones as well. And I'd love to hear what you guys are doing in the comments. Now, fire stopping for the advanced developer, on a site like this, it's where there's an, a breakage through into a unit. So here we've got cable, a big cable, massive cable. That'll be going into the main consumer unit in that unit. And there's one in every unit um, and it comes from the main supply up there. Now, there's hardly any gap around that cable you see, but fire stopping is where they're worried the fire's gonna come through that crack between the cable and the wall um, and spread quicker. Now, if we come up here, nearer where the noise is, silly me. You can see these cables have been cut up these, they have got a big, a bigger hole in. Um, so actually that is a bit more of a risk and I'm just sort of demonstrating the risk of some of these cables. Now here again, you know, electricians love to make a mess. Um, we'll let our chap go through, sorry mate, go for it. Um, they love to make holes, cut holes, you know, some will, Someone will fill that in later. And the problem what happened is that developments were, you know, the ceiling would go up here and there'd be all these holes where, you know, um, electricians, fire engineers, plumbers, everyone would have, you know, created a, um, a hole in the wall, which is a weak point, you know, and fire would zip through that, psh, go and rip through the building. That's, that is a huge risk, it is a concern. Fire stopping is meant to bring absolute detail to that um, and absolute focus on it to make sure it cannot happen. So these would be a problem. Now, if I take you further down where we've already started the fire stopping, you'll see now in these areas, and pan up those, these are all signed off, certified fire stopping measures where we've had a penetration through the wall, creating a potential weak point in that wall for fire to escape through. We now have a huge amount of protection. I mean, look at this, this is three fairly small wires they would have fire insulated through that wall and then they've got this huge kind of package that gets glued around it with a certain, you know, there'll be a certain calculation with how far it has to go for a certain type of wire, certain type of hole diameter. And um, that will then get painted on. So that there's that sort of foamy stuff, I'm not quite sure what it is, but then you get all painting on top of that, fire protection painting. And there's no way fire's getting through that hole, is there guys? So that's what fire stopping is. Um, on wires and penetrations through the system. Um, and we'll just pan up again here. You can see that's where the penetrations have gone through um, to protect that unit. So really interesting point. If any of you have not seen fire stopping before, 
that's what it, we're talking about. Um, we're also talking about, I think it's in here. Yeah, here we go. Another bit of fire stopping is the top of this panel from the roof panel down to this metal support. The bottom bit below hasn't been done yet. That, you can see that white material. That's to stop it going through the edge of the roof as well. So if there's fire in another unit, it can't go outside and back in through the roof cavity and down. So every area of flats are being fire stopped to make sure that the fire can't spread quickly. If there's a fire in one unit, it's going to take a considerably longer amount of time to spread. And it's going to have to burn through one hour, two hour rated firewalls. So, you know, really good to see, you know, this coming into the building trade. There's always a trade off where you might consider that over engineering to a point. Um, but, you know, it's about making sure everyone does it, it's making sure the bad builders do it. You know, we're good builders and we would always fill those holes anyway with fire resistant um, insulation and um, foam filler, all that sort of stuff, whatever's the correct term, there's a specific type of term. Tom, my project manager, sorry, contract administrator, he doesn't like being called a project manager, um, although I term it that sometimes. So um, he would know the right kind of uh, stuff to be putting in there, but it's gone to the next level, which I've just described with recent, um, recent regulations, which, you know, it can only be a good thing. The building is going to be safer. It's cost us a lot more money. That fire stopping this building cost £41,000. £41,000 to put those pads around the building and fire stop everything um, in the building. So that's a lot of money um, and it needs to be considered in the development. If you weren't aware of that on a bigger development, that's a cost. Now, if you're unsure of going into bigger developments and you want to go into them, there's so much detail to consider. So many areas you can fall down on regulation. You don't realise acoustic flooring, fire stopping today, we've discussed loads of other areas that you can fall down on and, and your development can go underwater very quickly. If you'd like help running your own development, or if you'd like to JV with us, if you've got a good amount of capital, you're into property, you want to do some other strategies, you want to grow your business faster, you want to partner with us, um, we do JVs. Um, we do mentoring for people that run their own sites. Um, and of course, we've got courses for people looking to get into property as well coming very soon. So reach out to me in the links around this video. I hope this technical based video hasn't sent you to sleep. I actually find it really interesting. It's a really important part of the industry. It's a real hot topic right now, fire. Um, and we've had to do lots of things about fire in this building. Um, as you know, we tested the roof and cut out a big section of that recently to test that. So huge amount of regulation around that that you need to be aware of and it's ever changing. So stay tuned, subscribe, hit the bell icon. I'll let you know those changes. I'll keep you up to date. If you'd like a tour of the site, book a mentoring session with me. I can take you around. Um, I can teach you what we're doing and show you firsthand. So I look forward to seeing you on another video very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.